singing bad country songs. So we got, this is another classic of Louisiana history here in, in Project M world. Uh, we got the young animal lover himself. Actually, we got two furries on the stream right now. We got J Salt on the Diddy and Lee on the Classic Fox, obviously. So typically, I feel like these players go really back and forth. Yeah, uh, I think Lee has the uh, slight he, advantage. Definitely Lee's slight advantage, as he has over basically everyone, if not a major advantage over everyone. Everyone here, at least. Right, yeah, um, of course, yeah. Um, so I think. It's pretty even right now. In my opinion, I feel like in this matchup, uh, when Diddy has the banana, he, he gets a slightly better neutral than Fox, but when he doesn't have one, Fox's neutral is way better than his. Uh, so it's it's really going to be about that item control and just uh, and, um, the edge guards. Something important to note is that Lee comes from a background of Brawl. He actually has uh, experience with item control, and a lot of times uh, players playing Diddy can't use his banana as well as he can. Right, right. So it, it almost feels stupid to pick up his banana and do anything but throw so it, it off because Diddy knows how to handle it, whereas Lee actually does have really good item handling and he seems right. to be able to use it almost as well as Justin. Did. And it's been apparent he's been controlling it. Fox also has a very good grab, item grab in this game. Uh, so he's trying to do a little corner pressure, but Justin regains the stage. Yeah, just, just kind of going on. Oh, I like, yeah, D Diddy's up smash, like, not that great, but it's, like, really good against space animals because it just kind of keeps him up there, similar to Meta Knight's up smash. And it pops him up in a perfect place for him to up tilt. Right, and exactly. Diddy's up tilt is... Is gross, yeah. And it's disgusting. R really weird angles that it throws you at. Like, I would prefer the up tilt to the up air most of the time. Right. Okay. Lee just making all the right calls, except for that up B, yeah. Up trying to ledge okay, around, that was and just... And he got punished hard for Yeah, it. really, really good forward smash. Justin's really good at capitalizing on these open moments, but uh, he's doing a really good job of not leaving many open moments. Yeah. Both players honestly have excellent neutral games. I think that's the both of their strengths, in my opinion. Uh, okay. Oh! Something I would not that. think to do, honestly. Uh, it was a great choice. Okay. Just pressuring him. Safe pressure. Not, not going in too hard. Both yeah, players like really like prioritizing stage control yeah. over everything else. They're, they're and doing I, a good job of maximum distance spacing. Foot right. Space. They're they're using the edges of their hitbox. This is some high level smash, boys, boys and girls. Okay, nice. Yeah, back air, good call because it gets him off. And, and does he get it? Oh, no, he had he, to do nothing, and he uh, he, he missed. Up air instead of uh, back air. He yeah. might have thought it was gonna go farther. Keep in stage control. If you don't have the experience with it, it can be hard to tell exactly where Diddy's uh, rocket, how far and high. I'm it's never gonna, gonna go. know. I'm never gonna know, no, no matter how long I live. <laughs> and I mean, it looks so safe, right? Uh, until you realize that he just really doesn't have much of a hitbox coming out. Thank of you, as Wolf. He goes. Wolf, right in the, the screen like a true master. Wolf is bringing us enlightenment into this match. Really, just uh, brightening up our day. You know, uh, we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop with the puns. <laughs> Not okay. I'd, I'd be delighted. Forced him to. Be, that was like six. Like he he threw the banana behind him so that he he was forced to not get center stage. Oh, Ooh. that could have been a fair, but that was just like if the best air dodge of all time. I, I think he screwed up. He meant to. Oh. We take those. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think Justin was, knows he needed the he needed the invincibility and he barely right. missed it. Lee is like one hit from dying though. Any up tilt, anything that launches him is going to end in a fair. Of course. Uh, He's gonna die wherever he is on the stage. Okay, what's the call? The back here? No. no, back here. Okay. I was expecting a wait. <gasps> I did not expect dash attack. I mean, uh, get up attack award there. And you can see the respect they have for each other. And, uh, it's just, real. Just walks up to the slow get up, and, and he leaves some space because yeah. he knows. Okay, uh -oh. okay. Uh -oh. Lee is really cooking right now. He's just straight cooking. Okay. Oh, nice. and there goes that up smash. Up uh, smash. Took it up to like 190. Yeah, up smash. Not something that typically kills, right? Uh, I think Justin's going to start looking for a gimp if he can get it. For sure. Um, Hard to get on Lee, though. Because cause he's been, again, he's been maintaining that stage control all they, game. They've been going like back and forth on damage for pretty much the entire game. So mm -hmm. now that there's a 100% deficit, and notice definitely at that disadvantage. No, Ooh, oh, 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 here, 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 what oh, is it? This is it. Oh, oh if you would have grabbed the ledge, that might have been see. it. And that should be it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're He just missed the spike. Are we too loud? Can you hear us? Are we too loud? All right. I just didn't want to know. Yeah. Yeah. 
depends on how much this TV actually drops. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Let's try to talk a little bit less. Both of us. Because we're always on. So yeah, for stages, uh, you know, I feel like uh, Lee just doesn't really want, it seems like he doesn't want the uh, super close range stages where he can get, he can get killed really easily off the sides. Um, I don't actually know where Justin typically takes him game two in this, in this matchup, to be honest. I feel like he kind of likes Yoshi's Brawl. Um, that's usually good doing stage. Smash I could see that being a good stage. Smashville is also, Smashville also a great. Good stage for this. Um, good stage for Diddy in general. Yeah. He's got MDBA that, knowing they, it. They don't have really the um, platforms too much to escape the banana when it's on, when it's on the ground. But. Right. So yeah, Lee switching up his style this game. Like last game, we saw that he he didn't go for the lasers at all, and it seems that now he has enough space. He's gonna take advantage. Oh, this the is gross. Goes. Here comes the up tilt. Gets him off stage. And okay, the active hitboxes eats that peanut. You know? Ooh, and oh, yeah. the forest, I don't know if he SDI'd here or. He just missed I think he might have SDI, but I think it wouldn't have finished off anyways. Okay. Oh, getting the mustache. Oh, okay. In a bad position. Yeah. Both players in an awkward position. And they both came back because. A little bit of, a little bit of awkward turtle there. Okay, so Justin being really smart and not trying to force out a grab, but gets back aired anyway, so. Lee's advantage, slight advantage. I feel one of Lee's biggest, uh, you know, one of his biggest helpful characteristics is he almost never seems to feel pressure. Like, right. he always takes it slow, regardless of if he's even in a deficit. He can patiently think and play this game and camp if he needs to. He keeps, so he never, keeps the game on his pace, yeah. He tends to not flood a lot because he doesn't really feel that, you know, high pressure on him. Right. I think that's super important. I think, and that and that just goes back to the uh, to the to the mind games. You know, the, I mean, the mental game rather. I feel like his mental game is as strong as his neutral game, which yeah. is also scary. And uh, man, you know what gives you that experience? You got to come play tournaments if you want to get better. Just a fact. Ooh, catch them, but not a kill. Yeah, should have been a forward air, but I think he was almost too close to forward air. So maybe near. Okay, nice. There it is. Again, at this 100% deficit. Yeah, it's really hard, uh, especially against Lee's Fox. He knows that, uh, especially on Smashville, he doesn't have to approach at all. Yeah. Lee, Lee is never afraid to camp. I mean, and he shouldn't he, be. He doesn't know. Yeah, right. it's a, it's a, it's a okay, nice strategy. get up and attack. He's, he's not the kind of Fox who just camps all the time. He goes in when he can. Get up attack, one of those moves that just like, it, you don't think that it's, it, you think it's scrubby, but it's just not. I mean, for what, for its purpose, it just serves it really well. Okay, what's the what's the backer? Okay, missed the backer. Oh, that was a bad nair. No, too low. And that might be it. And that backer. Yep. Seals it. Ooh, thank goodness for Smashville platforms because that would have been all she wrote right there. I'm pretty sure that was intentional, though. Lee likes That's a good point. Them. That's a good Lee point. Lee likes to use fire foxes just on top of the way on top of the stage and uh, illusions on top of the stage. Yeah, you're probably just right. Because it's so hard to punish. It is. Whenever they're invincible, you mean? And Justin, Lee like almost red hard. Justin loves his spot dodge. Lee charged just a little too long and went up smash trying to catch the spot dodge. Yep. What's wrong? Okay. Oh, and that was a beautiful nice, shine. Nice punishment. Oh, Justin, but he comes back. back. That was an amazing sweet spot. Dude, the swift recovery and the swift action by J Saul is really what got him that stock. Oh, the gimp? The gimp? The gimp? That could be it. That's it. That's beautiful. Absolutely and it's beautiful. Back to, it's I mean, now in Justin's uh, favor. He just has to, you know, I'm hold on long enough to put some damage. Around. And that could be it. Justin looking like actual Diddy Kong right now. Yes, okay. He's cooking now. He's feeling himself. Oh, and that's the back. It's alright. He's got 40%. That's enough to actually start chain grabs. Anybody's game right now, really. Lee, Lee doesn't have that safe percentage where he can just safely camp all day. And, uh... and right now, uh, Justin can take win a lot more off of one win in neutral than Lee can. Yep. Until their percent kind Justin's of. Justin's gonna have to play high. really safe. The shield's really low. Uh, Lee had some really good, good pressure. Smart. There. Uh, 
Sakurai. Doing his work. Nice off nice smash, smash out of shield. Out of shield. Ooh. That if was he'd have gotten that. This could be it. Justin is doing that thing right now. Oh, okay, the active hitbox is eating it again. Everybody knows that uh, Fox's active hitboxes on his up B are hilarious. And, and that's it. That very tip of that forward smash. I wonder if you can like really actually hear the burn before it actually happens on the stream. That'd be funny. Okay, good. Well, we already have. We, let's just be careful because like it's it's run into a danger of like too much talking too much. But also like you got to make sure that thing won't pick up so much. Right, right. And so if we're all talking, it's like you should be careful. Right? So like somebody talk. Um, I got one. Yo, Backwards hit a dash is attack. Pop me up into yep, down yep, air. In a shield pose. Yep. Who? Alright, we're going to right. Distant Planet. Yeah. This is Winner's Finals. It is best of five. Yeah, so this is game three. Uh, again, Lee seems to really like this stage in uh, a lot of matchups. And I think it's just because like it has the platform feel of melee, but also is like large enough for Fox to get his camp on. Yeah. And since Dreamland doesn't exist, you know, this is where you go. So. Because Delfino's, I don't know, it's kind of silly. Something I think not a lot of people use like they could are those leaves. Uh, the way those leaves fall when people are on them can make tech chasing really interesting. It, really, it helps yeah. you avoid techs or helps you finish tech chases with things you normally couldn't on platforms at that time. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, but we don't see too many people use it. Yeah, I mean, use Justin's game against him. Like, that's why he chose a stage like this. All right, and that's all she wrote. Well, I mean, you're not always going to get it, you know? It's not something you can get every time. Even even HBox misses it. They probably can't hear you, just let you know. All right, get him off stage. finish his stock off. But he was doing a good job of uh, just making it back safely. But he just can't start anything. Oh, that was that Justin. Was that was the Justin cool. classic right there, and there it is. Even game. These boys have some some great games. Pretty entertaining. Lee just playing really safe. He's just like kind of kind of dancing on top of the platform, going back and forth, platform camping because he knows he can. Uh, Justin can't do anything with his banana while he's up on that leaf. Yep. And yeah, I didn't even—I didn't even think about the fact that uh, the platform camping really is, is a huge benefit for Lee to pick this stage. Uh, but that's really what he's been been going for a lot of the time. And yeah, I feel like that's what separates the best players in our state from the average ones is just their neutral game and their patience. And but you can see it in both of these players, really evident. Yep. SK Jet saying you really want to put the uh, the banana behind you and force Diddy to go go pick it up. You know you want him to be chasing it. And that was a good reflect. Um, Fox actually using the shine for intended purposes. Thank you, Sakurai, somewhere, for your somewhere blessings. Somewhere, Sakurai is smiling. Sakurai shines down on us like a like a, a brilliant sun, and gives us beautiful gifts like Smash Four. Justin keeping it close. Uh, I think Lee just really playing a safe game this game and uh, doing his thing. Looks Hasn't like been Justin, lasering as much as he used to Justin on this thing. Justin keeps trying to um, punish out of shield uh, safe options and keeps getting hit by those shines. I think what's You're gonna have to talk about it, Jeff. What's determining this is kind of how uh, even when putting pressure, Lee is being more patient and right, right. Respecting every option, where the best is kind of going for good options, but Lee is already predicting that. Yeah, I think that the best way to describe what Lee does is that he he camps you close a lot of times, and like he's technically right outside your range, which is really just good play. That's good play. Uh, it's good fighting game play in general. Something that I'm not very good at personally. I like how he's like using banana to force your middle Yep. Agreed. Give him stage positioning. Justin is really good at covering those rolls. Nice back air. He, he waited on that so he wouldn't get hit by the hitbox. And oh, that man, shine that was shine. gross. 
Invincible shine at that, but I mean, you know, still really good, good timing. Okay, up tilt. Okay. Nice tech chasing. Nice forward smash, yeah. If he went high, he could have fared it. And yeah, we got one stock apiece. Like, it's, it's tied up again. All these games have been so sick. Okay, nice neutral by Justin. Nice options. Oh, whoa. Wow. wow. <laughs> Lee getting tricky. Lee looking like that's his banana. Not Lee his looking own. so tricky, dude. So, like, if, if Diddy gets a slightly better neutral when he has a banana, Fox becomes the best character by far in the game with a banana. Banana probably one of the best projectiles in the game. So, giving it to Fox, just... Bad news the only, bears. Yeah, the only projectile I could say might be a little better is might lasers. Be gyro. Or, yeah, gyro or lasers. Gyro yeah. is really good as well. Um, even then, I think banana is probably a little better than the gyro. 2 1, Justin's pick. What is he going to choose? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Again, I typically don't really know. I feel like I feel like Justin likes the like, smaller stages, but Justin then he just took him to Smashville because like Lee banned FOD and uh, so, Green Hill Zone. Justin but. likes stages with small sides, but a high top because uh, Diddy's really vulnerable to being juggled up, and Fox is really good at killing people off the top. Diddy can get uh, ruined by up throw up airs. Right, right. So Justin's not going to want somewhere like WarioWare, where even though it's small. There are all those platforms going way up that Diddy right. can die really quickly. Whereas Diddy's not really that worried about dying from the side. Yeah. There's there's not too many things besides. Bear well, I mean, his recovery is just, it's it's a lot harder to cover than it actually looks, and so I think that uh, it looked like he's just trying to go to a basic okay. neutral stage. I mean, honestly, like no matter where these guys have been, it seems like that it's just been neck and neck. So he's just gonna take him to uh, Pokemon Stadium. I like it. Wow. Yeah, they've been really, really close every game. It's been good. So yeah, Lee, I mean, he's, he's kind of been mixing it up every game into like his play style, and it seems like this time he's going to be taking a similar approach that he did in the uh, in the Smashville game, whereas he does mixes in the lasers with some aggressive pressure. Oh, that was, that was really good. Just getting him off stage. Yeah. Okay, going for the up smash, just barely missing. The shortened Ooh, nice mind short. games. That was a real good mind game. Okay. That was the first time he's done that short. I mean, it was also just a good choice in general, but yeah. Set, nice. Ooh, Ooh I thought, I, I really no, thought. I was expecting a Sakurai combo there, but the back air still killed, so. I thought Diddy was going to hit him there. But I don't know if Fox is up B, apparently. Fox is up B is still good. <laughs> Lee keeping the shine pressure on. I like it. Okay, up smash out of shield into... Okay, no fair. I, like, never see Lee fall for a get-up attack. It's like he always expects it. Oh! Ooh, that was a beautiful reverse grab. That was beautiful. See, I thought he was going to, like, dash attack him, and he was like, no, I'm actually better than you. Uh, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run past him and grab him and then kill him. Okay. Trying to keep that near plane going. Jab Shine Run Away has really been getting Lee a whole lot of mileage in these sets, honestly. Okay. Nice. And again, I mean, I think it's so important to stress that, like, Lee is prioritizing stage position over basically everything. Like, Instead of going for some crazy combo, he's just like, I'm just going to get you off stage, and I'm just going to keep hitting you. And I feel like that's what you have to do against uh, Diddy Kong, because Diddy Kong's got great options, especially with that banana. His options are stellar out of shield. Absolutely. Um, he's got an amazing spot dodge. Absolutely. So if you play up on top of A little of Diddy too good, Kong, some would say. Yeah, if you play up on top of Diddy Kong, you are opening yourself up to Oh, they did, norm they did normalize the spot dodges. Ooh, doing a little dash dance on his shield. Okay, us up there. Yeah, and Lee is just—he's really just cooking right now. Uh, it's three to one. It looks like it might not. Playing an Justin's excellent gonna, neutral game. Justin's gonna have to work hard and uh, honestly be more patient and slow down a little more if he wants to make it to game five. Right. Justin's kind of not panicking hard, but yeah, it just seems like he's reaching a little bit, reaching a little bit. And a little, oh, be, nice up tilt. 
Taylor HJ, known as the king of Diddy Up Tilts. Oh, unfortunate. And does up Waveland. All right. And Lee, you know, doing his thing, going to uh, Grants. Uh, we, that's nothing that's new to us. So uh, let's see what happens. Looks like we're going to have... I think it's Taylor. I see. I'm pretty sure it's Taylor HJ uh, running it back against Justin for uh, losers finals. All right.